the permit for this Nestle Waters Canada facility in southwest Ontario expired nearly a month ago. The fact that it's continuing to draw water from a local well is angering area water environmentalists. The there. There's problems and we've been in a drought condition, so we don't believe that permit should be operating as business as usual. Nestle says it's reduced its outtake by 20% because of the drought conditions. And when it comes to its expired permit, it's still in line with the law. Ontario's Water Resources Act allows a company to keep running under its old permit until a decision on a new one is made. The only catch is that the application for the new permit must be made at least 90 days before the old one expires. We are, as I said, operating legally. We are doing everything we can. We are monitoring um, the water, groundwater elevation, surface water elevation points, and our current permit stays in effect until a new permit is issued. But especially when there's evidence. But activist Mike Nagy uh, says that's not good enough. He's calling on the province to change the law. That water's gone forever. You're removing it from the ecosystem every day, all the time, as well as imposing, you know, hundreds of millions of packages of plastic on the earth. The head of Ontario's independent environmental watchdog is also criticizing the government. She says it isn't doing enough to consult the public when it comes to issuing new permits. We obviously have concerns about this process of the ministry making decisions taking a very long time. She also says the province isn't charging companies enough for water extraction. It makes no sense to be giving away our most precious resource for little or nothing. The Aberfoyle facility is currently allowed to take up to 3.6 million litres of water per day. The province says it will post a description of the application for a new permit online for a public review, but it's so far not said when that will happen. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Aberfoyle.